McCook with Learning Ovations. Today we're going to be exploring long and short vowels. Do you remember what a vowel is? Vowels are letters with sounds that you can make with your mouth open and your tongue in the middle of your mouth, not touching your teeth or lips. Our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Do you know what a long vowel is? With long vowels, your mouth is more closed and your tongue is higher up in your mouth. A, E, I, O, U. Those are the long vowel sounds. Let's compare those to the short vowel sounds. A, E, I, A, A. With short vowels, your mouth is more open and your tongue is lower down in your mouth. So if you compare, for example, the long A and the short A, the long A goes A, the short A goes A. Do you see that when I make the short vowel sound, my mouth is more open? Ah. You should pause this video and take a look at yourself in the mirror as you say your long and short vowels. See how your mouth shape changes and how your tongue moves in your mouth differently for long and short vowels. Now for this activity, we are going to be going on a hunt for long and short vowels in a book that we're reading. First, take a blank piece of paper and turn it into a table with two sides. Write long vowels on the left side and short vowels on the right side. Next, find a book that you can read and understand on your own. As you read the book, listen for your short and your long vowel sounds. When you come to a word that has a long vowel, go ahead and write it on the long vowel column of your table. When you find a short vowel sound, write it on the short vowel side of your table. Now, if I found the word rest, I would think rest rest, eh, 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 that's a short vowel, rest. And now for the super awesome genius bonus. Looking for something great to do with all the words that you've found? You can make a poem. One way to do this is to find three of your favorite words that you found and then make rhyming words for each of those. Now you have six words, so write a poem with six lines. The rhyming words always go at the end of the line, so it sounds better when you read it. You can recite it out loud to see how it sounds. Mine goes like this. Listen for the rhyming words at the end of each line. My mom told me that I needed to go to my little brother's talent show. I wanted to stay home and rest. I'd even rather take a math test, but I'm glad that I chose to go because his talent was picking his nose. When you're done, share your work with an adult. Now it's your turn to go and give it a try. Have fun! Go to my little brother's talent show. I'd rather stay home and rest. I'd even rather take a test. <laughs>